I, I can't catch a break with this game, bro. Every time. I don't know if anybody's going through this shit, but fuck me, man. All right, guys, so we basically all have dabbled in this beta. If you haven't, you're kind of watching videos on it and wondering, you know, what is what is it all about? Is this worth getting? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I got Game Pass with my internet. I would never in my life suggest this game to anybody that can't get it for a dollar through Game Pass. I'm going to be honest with you. This game is not worth it. And I'm going to explain to you why. I know some people probably really like this game. I'm running into a lot of problems. And so I'm going to state these problems. And we're going to basically go through what I've been uh, dealing with. And fuck, does it ruin Call of Duty's uh, experience for me. So in the first weekend of the beta, I was really running into a lot of desyncing problems. Like horrendous amount. Uh, it was quite bad. It was irritating. What I mean by the desyncing, I get packet loss like crazy on the first weekend. The first weekend, it was insane how unsynced the game was. I felt like I was playing hardcore. I literally backed out to confirm if I was playing a core mosh bit or anything else. And turns out I was just playing core and packet loss was really fucking my game up. I was dying by like two shots. It, like it literally felt like two shots. I was around corners. I was dying. I was like, dude, what is going on? Uh, it completely ruined the game experience for me that I ended up getting off Call of Duty for that weekend. Now we're going to fast forward to this weekend. And the reason why is I put more hours into this weekend. Uh, and I was able to kind of form an opinion, see how the game played, see what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. So we're going to start with the guns. I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Jackal dominated the first weekend of this game. Like, holy fuck, was it in insane how many people were using this gun it was the only thing i saw on my feed and i was getting kind of like pissed because i'm like damn we're like here we go meta shit i'm already seeing the tiktoks like best class in black ops 6 meta and it's like showing the fucking thumbnail is like a high kd fucking game and i was like dude don't do this to us right now so obviously this weekend they nerfed it they did some shit to it so that it wasn't so overpowered basically the longer range you are shooting it the damage drop off is obviously increased so that you're not fucking killing people from miles away i think people realized what game they were playing guys we're playing black ops 6 bro you know what that means right that means we're playing a fast-paced short-ranged maps yo what's up welcome to the diddy party brother I'm going to take you to this corner. I'm going to show you who your daddy is. You see this? Yeah, you like that, buddy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. So they realized how fast-paced this game was. And people were like, oh, shit. Well, I just got to get close up. And now it's still dominating. The Jackal PDW is still a fucking thing. I'm still running into it. And it's starting to piss me off. How did I die by that? I got to see how I died by this. What? No way! What? You can die like that? So basically now all I'm seeing is people use the Jackal PDW, bro. We got fucking face temper in my game, bro. Holy shit. And then now we got to talk about maps, bro. Because this map, they, I don't know what they were thinking, dude. There's no way. No way, Treyarch said. For four years. Four years. And they made this. They made this and said, yep, the spawns are great. They had to have had people try this, right? They had to have people tried this. And nobody at Treyarch was like, this is going to be a problem. Nobody. Not a single soul. Whoever play tested this game has got to go. Take them out, outside, give them a box of their goodies from their desk. Tell them to get the fuck out of there because there's no way this map got tested. There's just no way. You know, all original maps, I'm I'm grateful for that. Good job, Treyarch. I'm proud of you. But fuck, these maps are boring, dude. Some of these maps are just so boring to play. And it's not like they're staples. You know, when you play Call of Duty, we've had staples, dude. And every Call of Duty's had staple maps. Like fucking Raid, for fuck's sakes, and Black Ops 2 was great. And Treyarch's made some really good maps that are staples. But fuck me, dude. These feel AI-generated. Like, not a single one feels good. Like... Some of them just play super weird. Like, Raid was a staple, and we've ran into this problem with this game where none of them feel good. I'm sorry. They don't feel good, dude. All right, what's up, buddy? I'm going to take you all back and show you what these shots look like, bro. Yeah, that's what you get, bro. The only thing I found enjoyable about this game is literally un 
limited back shots I could give to people that suck at this game. Like, if I catch them lacking, you better know I'm telling them they're lacking. But, like, back on the maps, dude, I feel like they could have thought a little bit more. I don't know what they were really thinking. I don't know what you think you're doing, bro, but all you doing is getting fucked in this corner. Put that shotgun down, bro. Put it down. Put it down, bro. And every time I play the maps, I'm like, bro. And it, it, there's zero consistency to how it's played, bro. It, there's zero. I, I, I don't get what they're doing. Bro, I thought I told you to put this fucking shotgun down, bro. Every time, I'm gonna have to grab you and fuck you, bro. And I don't know what Treyarch was thinking, but they, they really gotta fucking step it up, bro. For four years, they made this game. Four years! And I'm running into the shittiest stuff I've ever seen, bro. And this map, Babylon, needs to go, bro. Like, if this is what they have, I'm so afraid to see what's next. Because fuck me, dude. Their one medium-sized map with the fucking KFC sucks, dude. I love Treyarch. I've always loved Treyarch. They've always come here and bailed us the fuck out. But this time, bro, they ain't bailing nothing out, dude. The only thing I see them doing is ruining this fucking game. And I don't know if it's the greedy Activision that's here that's doing this shit. Hey, man, I don't know what you're doing camping, bro, but this is called a Treyarch game, bro. This is called a Treyarch game. Now, you like that? You like getting fucked like that? Keep camping, bitch. Dude, I want to catch that sniper, dude. No way! That's what I'm talking about! Babylon spawns are crazy! Treyarch has this, like, thing. Well, it's kind of like Call of Duty in general. And they just... I feel like they listen, but they don't. Like, they're like, yeah, I register what you're saying, but is it gonna happen? No. And I just feel like they, they, they actually don't listen. Like, there's no way Treyarch sits here and goes, yeah, man. Everything you're saying, valid. Everything you're saying... We'll get you there, buddy. They don't. And I feel so neglected by Call of Duty. And it, it just... I feel like the community... Some people in this community are feeling like shit, dude. Because this game is just fucking not it. It's not in a state to release, bro. Like, it's buggy as fuck. I, every time, dude. I crash, like, every day. Basically, Treyarch needs to show us that they've put four years into this and not four years into the movement. The maps that you've released, they're mid. There's Scud shit, okay? Babylon's even worse than Scud. The spawns are horrendous. And I, I, I don't know what else to expect from you guys. I don't want reskins of maps. I want good Treyarch maps. Whoever you've hired to make these maps, they gotta go. Or they gotta, they gotta really try because I don't know what the fuck we're playing. But I hope when this game comes out, maps will be worth it again like i stated in the beginning of the video i don't suggest buying this game if you got game pass like i do it's a fucking it's like fucking whatever dollar for the first month and then you pay it try it out then try the full release game then other than that don't i won't be buying this game other than it comes with my game pass i will never spend a hundred dollars on a game like this that's just my opinion i want to know your guys' thoughts down below if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do and peace the fuck out.